Hi, welcome to the Mad Witch Cottage and we're back from Glastonbury <clears throat> and this is a very quick video because um, we went for Samhain to meet up with um, the lovely little bro Simon and Sandra and we had a really lovely time meeting up with them. It's been six years since Simon and I first met in Glastonbury which was his first time and um, I think I dragged him around every shop <laughs> so uh, it was frost fair and we didn't know what frost fair was then and um, it was heaving I mean literally the whole of the road was shut off with stalls and everywhere was heaving but we still managed to have a lovely lunch in the Georgian Pilgrim um, all those years ago and we've been trying to catch up again since then and it's just never happened and last year we were going to join them and uh, as you, if you follow my channel you'll know what a shit show last year was and I just had cold after cold and we were both unwell and run down and trying to still get stuff done and from you know um, emptying mum's house and it, it just it, nothing nothing came together last year at all um, so today I'm just going to share with you the bits we got. Um, we met them for Samhain. Um, Sandra travelled with us. Um, if you've watched Simon's vlog, you, you will have already seen uh, quite a bit of it. And um, we got down there literally the same time as Simon. And um, that was great because we then went and had a coffee and a catch up and it yeah just go watch his vlog and you'll see <laughs> uh sandra and i sh our first turmeric latte okay <laughs> i'm not sure i'm gonna say any more about that <laughs> we had such a laugh um i was physically in a lot of pain over the time we were there I hadn't anticipated how much it would take out of me. When we went in September, I, I was obviously in a good place because I managed a lot more um, walking than I did this time round. You know, last time we wore, I, I managed to physically walk all around the Abbey, then to the Chalice Well, then to the White Springs, which is just across the road to be fair, but and then back again. Um, this time my physical walking was a lot lot worse and I was in a lot of pain and um, so I didn't do uh, the chalice well um, we were planning to do it the day after we got there but I'd had such a bad night <clears throat> physically the night before we kind of put it off to our last morning we thought oh well no we'll do it for the last morning and my husband said, you know, we've got to go into town, get a few last minute bits. Do you think you can manage both? Because as it turned out, my husband had planned a surprise for us when we left um, Glastonbury on Saturday. We were going somewhere else and I, di I didn't know anything about it. I knew we were doing something, but I didn't know what. And he said, I don't want you to be too exhausted. Um, so we decided not to risk it. Um, we get to go to Glastonbury as a rule uh, at least you know four times a year throughout the seasons so I decided that it wasn't worth me going to risk me being physically then um, too tired to enjoy the rest of our trip um, so we we met up with Simon and Sandra um, periodically through the time we were there we had a, a, a lovely evening with them in the Georgian Pilgrim on our on the Friday evening and that was it was just so nice um, to have a, a chance to actually physically sit ha, uh, have a meal have some drinks have a chat have a laugh we did a lot of laughing uh, mostly at my expense if if, if you um, my husband cheeking me a lot but no we, we just we had a laugh I've got a, a very dry sense of humour um, and you know it was just so so great to catch up with the guys so um, we didn't buy a lot of things but I do have um, some bits to show you so yeah sorry I didn't get to the chalice well with um, my husband's I mean the jewellery that he's made that I haven't yet put up on the shop this is 
one piece um this laboradite when it is in the sunlight comes alive i've called this my ellen of the ways because it's it's like a tree goddess it's, it's beautiful um simon we my husband gifted simon and sandra a piece uh and we i we did take uh the jewelry with us to take to the chalice well but unfortunately my health just didn't give me um the opportunity to um to go there uh so um all that aside, because we go so often, we didn't buy a lot of things. And um, so I'm going to show you what 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 tiny little things we got. And uh, but it was just really to say we had the best time. It's just nice. You know, the shops are lovely. Um, the place is, is so energized with, you know, good things. But there's nothing perhaps nicer than meeting up with good friends and good company having a laugh and just enjoying that was um the highlight for us and my husband hadn't met sandra before so that was really nice and they got on really well so yeah so uh thank you both to simon and sandra for making the trip so uh, memorable and I'm going to switch the camera around now and I'm going to show you what we got. And yeah, and then I have uh, I will do some walkthroughs of things I got, decks I got. But um, over time, I've got lots of little videos I want to try and do. So I'm going to keep this short and stop waffling. So I'm going to turn you around. Uh, in no particular order, but this was the first purchase that, that I got. Um, the Lunar Moon Hair. Wendy Andrew, um, as you know... Uh, Simon very very kindly bought me uh, both the um, Wendy Andrew decks um, for my birthday my 60th this year these decks <clears throat> really um, apart from the solitary witch I mean there's a couple of, of oracle decks that I really love but these two along with the solitary witch are kind of the, the decks that um, I would never not be using I think um, and this deck, Magical Journey with the Goddess, written and illustrated by Wendy Andrew, is uh, was recommended to me by Simon. And I, uh, there's a lot of Wendy Andrews art around at the moment in Glastonbury, and I, I kind of would have got more. Um, but I think the problem for me is it's where to put stuff now. My walls are kind of full, um, and I've got some of my own work up now as well. Um, this is so beautiful. Um, the enigmatic hair dances into our lives, calling us to remember. She acts as an intermediary, a link, a thread of light leading us to our source. She is tangible and yet elusive, like a dream remembered on waking. She is in this world, but also runs through the timeless worlds of myth. She embodies the female spirit of the land, intuitive, wild and free. She communes with the moon and understands her mysterious ways. She speaks to our inner selves, calling us back to our true nature. The magical journey of lunar moon hair is a story with no beginning or end. In this story, lunar moon hair represents the life force of the turning seasons. She carries the crown for the holly and the oak kings until it is their turn to reign and in doing so she holds the continuity of life. As she travels her cyclical path, she encounters ancient archetypes, mythical creatures, totem animals and fairies as the goddess guides Luna on her way. Hare's song, touch me, I am your key. I am forever in your soul. Turn me and be free. Let wildness make you whole. In silhouette within the moon, I call to you to meet me the, there. I dance to an ancient tune. Come dance with me, for I am here. Um, so <clears throat> this book, I would... I know Simon, I think, has shown it, and I would absolutely agree that this book is a must-have, absolute must-have. And and Wendy Andrew work, artwork is 
really beautiful. I mean, there there are other decks that have a similar art, and obviously, you know, um, all of them are perfect for uh, our spiritual work, our journey through nature. But um, I am one hundred percent the biggest fan, apart from perhaps Simon, who's also a big fan. I'm just it's just incredible this work is incredible and I think when I do go back next time I probably will invest in some more um there is artwork in the goddess shop um Simon pointed it out to me and I, I didn't pick any up for the very fact that I just don't know where to put anything at the moment so um second purchase it might have been my first actually to be fair I think we might have gone in um the other shops afterwards we were making our way down from the top uh, was the witch's note journal, which I'd started um, just to write in um, the uh, got this in one of the shops at the top of the high street. Get a broomstick on it. Um, sorry, you, you, you know, go. To, they, it was in other shops as well. I wanted this purely to write in for my um, so, Witch Sisters Tarot and the um, Yolanda Witch Tarot and all witchy decks. All my witchy decks, basically, I want to combine my notes in here. Well, not, I've got a journal, I've got, I've got a boss for things, but I just, for readings for tarot and, and stuff like that. And my husband said to me, do you need another journal? And I went, yes. I need another journal. They all serve different purposes. So and it's just a, a lined book and it's it's perfect. It was it wasn't expensive. Um so next I'm going to <laughs> I haven't opened it so I went into the Sons of Asgard and we because we had put this deck aside, the Forest Witch Oracle. You will know this deck from it watching Sandra's channel and Simon both um did walkthroughs of this deck and um I definitely wanted to purchase it. Um, my husband very kindly rang them up, spoke to Chris and said, look, we're coming up to meet with Sandra and Simon. Would you mind putting this deck away for me? And I haven't opened it because I, I want to do, I will do a walkthrough. You know, they are a, a very successful shop in Glastonbury and sell um, very ethically sourced and beautiful um, uh, uh witchy essentials I suppose you might want to call it and um, it's really important to support you know these creators um, and this deck is when I saw it on Sandra's channel I did fall in love with it and um, I'll talk more about it when when I do a walkthrough which I will do um, probably this afternoon actually because uh, I came back from Glastonbury and I, I, I kind of crashed. I didn't feel well, hadn't been feeling well, as you know, because I, as I said in my intro. And yesterday was a bit of a write off for me. So I, I'm going to open that deck later and do a walkthrough. Now, what else did I get? Not not a huge, huge amount. Um, I'm forever keeping bits and pieces. Another walkthrough I will do is I was gifted this deck by Simon and Sandra they um we were in the goddess shop and Simon said to me have you seen this deck and I said um I'm trying not to see decks <laughs> I'm trying to go around with my eyes closed but um I did look the, the, I, I'm gonna say this very uh quickly is I think the goddess no my mainly the goddess is the one shop that you can go in and see all the decks out that they've got um so whereas you used to go into the hollow hill which used to be the speaking tree um and sometimes there would be decks open that you could look through less and less now they've got a lot more decks but not not them open and i remember the last time i was in there asking if i could actually see 
the deck and and she said no we, we can't open them but that's not how it used to be they did used to open them for you and if you go in the imaginarium they used to open decks so that you could actually see them and i'm not sure whether they would do that now or not because i haven't asked them but if you go in the goddess um temple shop all the decks are there open and you can physically pick them up and hold them and this was one of them and I really did love it. I was torn between this one and the uh, Sharon Blackie, the you know the, the the rooted oracle deck, which comes about from her if women rose rooted. I liked that deck too, but I think if I if I had bought either, it would have been this one. And the reason I kind of didn't was because I'm I'm really trying to cut down on the amount of decks I buy. Anyway, when we went out for our evening meal, Simon and Sandra presented myself and my husband with a gift and this was mine and I can't tell you how touched and, and um, emotional it made me because it I'd already seen the cards, the deck is beautiful um, and I will do a walkthrough it just because I want to celebrate how beautiful this deck is because Simon loved it so much and said it was one of the most beautiful decks that he had had this year and because they gifted it to me and in Glastonbury. I mean, you know, what more can one want from a deck? Um, so this deck will have a very, very special place um, in my practice and I will share that with you later. Um, so, OK, so what else did I get? I think that was kind of maybe. No, no, there was actually there was a lovely. There was a teeny tiny. I'm just trying to think where they are. A teeny tiny market stall. So in the um, assembly hall, there is. Um, there was a, a craft fair on and sadly, very sadly, it wasn't hugely well attended by craftspeople, but on the outskirts of the, on the sort of, as you go in there, I'm going to just come up a bit actually, so you can really see this. There was this lovely man selling candles. Now, I've got this for my daughter. Um, look at this. Isn't it stunning? absolutely beautiful so this this lovely young man he had his own beehives he had 75 beehives and he used to use their wax and i think he even used their surplus honey he didn't use any honey that was needed for the bees it was purely what surplus honey um he has but unfortunately his bees have been stolen and apparently from what he was saying the police told him that it it it, it all happened over one night across quite a, a wide area of um wiltshire or across the board um it wasn't just him um it was it's this massive uh um unfortunately um theft of beehives which i think is heartbreaking to be honest um I would have liked to have gone back and bought a few more bits from him. I will hopefully find you the the name of him. I, he's not got an online shop at the moment, but I hope, I very, very much hope, I'd love to see him with a shop. Um, I don't know how he's going to replace 75 beehives. I hope that they're found, the culprits are found and, and harmony is restored, but... Um, that's for my daughter, um, my witchy daughter, bless her. I got her some more blue lotus flower tea from Star Child. Um, she loves blue lotus flower. And um, every time I go, I pick her some more up. Um, so that's, that's for her. And then the other thing I got her, because I got myself one, is there's a... Oh, can't remember the name of the shop I, she won't watch this so I, I don't have to worry but it's like um for the christmas tree you can stand on a tree let's come up a bit more Woo. um but she is so cute and in um happy glastonbury 
they had some smaller versions of her and they had different ones so there was this lovely one that I really nearly picked up which was um, a little witch and she had little legs uh, cloth legs that were the stripy um, stockings like I do on my mad witch um, pictures so I, I just love this girl she's so cute look at her little fingers um, so she's going to go on my daughter's, um, actually to be fair I showed my, da my daughter I think a picture but she's going to go on the the Christmas tree instead of the fairy because they, I mean we do Yule she does Christmas because of the children so she has um, a few nice goodies extras um, because we, we didn't get to meet up in Glastonbury now, where's the rest of my candle bits? Uh, oh, oh, I know where they are. My husband has them. Hold on. <clears throat> there we go. There's our one. She's lovely, look. And the shop was... Oh, no, that's not the shop. <laughs> the sh they were twelve ninety nine. Oh, I can't remember the name of the shop. I'm hopeless. They had them in lots of shops, to be fair, not just this shop. But this, the lady in the the shop. When we were looking at them, the lady in the shop was mouthing to me how much they were, and I just liked her, so I went in and bought them from her. So, but they do have them in Has Happy Glastonbury and probably other places besides. Look at her little wings. Love her. She's going on my Yule tree. So. The only other thing was I had another couple of candles, which I will have to take you downstairs and show you. Mm. Oh, no, I did get, well, I did get some, we tend to go now to get um, my essential oil. We, we go shopping for store cupboard things. So last time I went in Star Child, I got candles um, and this time I got essential oils. I got... Um, rose frankincense and jasmine because i want to make a salve for the goddess um and my ancestors and the whole thing and i also got oak moss which i thought smelt lovely and i'd heard of it so i wanted to get it so those were my other purchases and this i'm just gonna try i don't know if i can show you hold on that candle there um, these are the frothy candles and look at how much they drip. Um, I've got a green one as well from last time and again the same thing. They are very drippy candles. So if you're going to purchase those, that it is worth um, getting, like Simon did, one of the big chalices to put them in. So those are my purchases and I will just show you the other... Um, candles i don't know i thought i had his little card and i don't appear to have it he also gave me this which i thought was wonderful because it's like a taper but again you know it, it's made out of just natural beeswax i could kick myself really i would have bought more he had some really beautiful candles my husband bought one and i bought a small little one but i would have liked to have gone back and bought more but it was our last morning there and i, I just didn't get a chance to go back um my days of running up and down glastonbury high street are unfortunately over um yeah that i think that's it um Moss came with us and he did a few adventures of his own um, and I put that posted those on Instagram so I will uh, thank you for dropping by I will just share with you a little bit of the um, the extra candles that we got and uh, yeah I will do some walkthroughs of those decks as well thank you take care bye my husband was gifted this really stunning little chalice from Simon and Sandra. It came from Dandelion Dreams. Um, I think the Dandelion Dream people are, uh, they put in their shop um, all, all sorts of creators uh, work and um, 
it's absolutely I, I i teased him because i said not another little chalice because he just he bought this one as well so well as i say this was gifted to him this chalice has, has a bit of a story because it was from the goddess shop and he picked up another one and put it down again and then sandra picked it up and he's like oh i wanted to get that and she's like oh really oh no and he's like no i'm teasing you i'll get the other one so he he got this one um so this is the the twin to the one that sandra has and um i got this little tiny um beeswax candle from this really lovely i will try and find out if i've got any card from him because i hope he does a website i wish he had a shop in glastonbury because I loved what he had to offer and it fits perfectly. And this was the other candle we got from him, which I don't know if I'm getting the lights, not great, but it's covered in, but he had two different ones. He had loads of different candles. He had the most amazing candles in tins that had crystals running through them. And these two um, little chalices we bought, well, he bought from um, Star Child last year. And um, I'm like, what, what are you doing with these? <laughs> and now, of course, he's got his candles um, in them and they look beautiful. So well done, Hubs. And thank you to Simon and Sandra for this. It is lovely, beautiful gift, a lovely memory for a lovely time away.